good. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And you just tuned into the morning devotion. We're here to encourage you through the word so that you can be strong in the faith. And live victoriously in Christ. Amen. I'll turn down my phone so it's not going. <laughs> Today we're kind of going to finish what I didn't finish on Sunday. Yep. So, Randy's <laughs> at the helm today, and uh, I'm going to open up with a word of prayer. Sounds good. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day that you've given us, Lord. Yes, so we praise you. Father, I just want to thank you for safety. Lord, I, I just want to thank you, Lord, for deliverance. Yes. I want to thank you for provision. I want to thank you for encouragement. Lord, thank you. Father, thank you for this day that you've given us, and I pray that today, Lord, that we might do whatever things we do for your glory and for your honor. Yes. Help us to honor you through our actions today, in the words that we speak, in Jesus' name. Father, you know the needs yes. of the listeners. Yes. Father, for those that right now are thinking about something that they really need an intervention for, that they're looking for a miracle to happen, I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would reach down into their lives, yes. Lord, and what they have asked, Lord, that they might receive. For your word asks us to ask, seek, and knock. So we knock today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 1 Corinthians 2 9 says, But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, you want to no, go it? ahead, go ahead, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Um, right now, around the world, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Oh, yeah. In Louisiana, they need so much prayer you know miraculous things that they're going to need i'm asking the lord to just extend the the things that the christian ministries have that their supplies not run out you know it's interesting that when calamities happen the ones that come to the aid are not these big groups mm -mm. that are always pushing down the christians yeah instead it's the christians that put aside all the offenses put aside all the garbage that they say against them they just put on the armor of god and they walk oh, wow. in in the midst yes of all the disaster in the midst of all the hurt they go in the name of jesus and they give love they give supplies they give of their own hard work out of love in order to honor our lord yes you know that missionaries say that a lot of times the people in countries like right now in Afghanistan, the Christians there, they ask that here, Speak up. they ask that here we not pray that they be delivered out of those situations, that they come out of them. But most of the time what they want us to pray is that they have the strength to hold on to the promises of God in the midst of all their troubles. And why is that? Because they know that God has a better place for them. Our world here is, everything here is temporal. God is preparing for us a home, a place that is awesome. Here we're gonna have troubles. As we read in Matthew 7, five minutes, it says, ask and I will be, it will be given unto you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For where everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Or what is there among you, or excuse me, of what man is there among you? If his son asks for bread, will he give him a stone? He's asking for a need, not a want here. This is a need. Or if he asks for a fish, Will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? You know, if you're a good parent, yeah. if your kid asks for something that you know is not good for him, 
you're not going to give it to him. You're going to give him what is good for him. Our Heavenly Father gives us the things that are good. Sometimes we ask for things, but God knows in the long run that thing could destroy you. Yeah. And he may say, no, but he'll give you other things. He will supply your needs. He will provide. You know, I like it to hear where it says in verse 11, If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? I wrote down a little note. It says, remember 7-Eleven. You see the grocery stores? 7-Eleven? Remember, God is a good God. And he is not like any worldly father. He will supply your need. You ask and trust that he knows what's best for you. It goes on and it says, Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you. Now here's a, a, a part. Okay, part of this asking, there's another thing that goes along with that. It says, Therefore, because we know that God is good. Whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law of the prophets. In Leviticus 19.18 it said, Thou shalt not avenge or bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Now, here's a little part that's interesting here that's important for us to realize. It says, bear a grudge against the children of thy people. You know, amongst believers, we need to take care of each other. Yes. You know, because there's parts where it talks about, you know, cast not your pearls before swine. There's going to be those that just do not want anything to do with God. They're not part of the family. That's not. They could be. They could be. But if they rejected, you know, he told the disciples, just wipe your feet and just say, you're on, on your own then. Move, Move on. on. Move on. You know, be guided by the Spirit of God. There's people that God will direct you to. There may be someone who is doing all kinds of bad things. I'm thinking of the sword and the, swi uh, uh, the switchblade. Crossing the switchblade. Crossing the switchblade. Sword blade. the stone. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing the <laughs> movie references here. Crossing the switchblade. You know, that here, David Wilkerson saw something in this gang member. He could see past the front that he was putting on. And he pushed on. Yes. But I'm sure that there was many that he looked past to concentrate on the one that he could see in his eyes. Really wanted truth. He was acting tough. He was doing this. But he could see past in his eyes that there was hurt. You know, God will guide you. His Holy Spirit will lead you to people. The front on the outside may look terrible, but when you look into their eyes, you'll see that there's a hunger. A hurting little kid, a hurting little girl in a grown-up's body. Do you want to say something? Do you want to share something? No, I was I've just been running that was, out of time. That was a tap to let her know. <laughs> She's running out of time. Verse 13 says this. It says, Enter by the narrow gate. We talked for, about that yesterday. Yep. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult, difficult. is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. Amen. Are you seeking the Lord today? Are you seeking the Lord for help today? Have you asked Him for help have you not on his door that's through prayer when you come to the Lord in prayer I need help Lord I'm seeking you for help that's knocking on his door take some time today find a place to pray whether it's alone or wherever you are whether it's driving down the road Take some time and bring your situation before God. He cares for you, He loves you, and He will see you through. I have witnessed God time and time again see us through circumstances. Yeah, don't, and, yeah, go ahead. 
I'm gonna finish out. Yep. I wanted to say one more thing. Okay. Don't allow people and the world to make you think because you're in a tough situation that you're doing some things wrong with God. Oh, God, God is mad at you. God doesn't love you, no, otherwise you wouldn't no. be there. He lets us know so many times in the Bible yes. that as a believer, we're going to have difficult times. Amen. But He is our sustainer. So keep a praise song in your heart. And rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. <laughs> I'm like, it's all the birds. <laughs>